What is going on guys? World Wars here bring us a brand new episode of Washington Station and this is probably the episode I'm most happy to be talking about. I mean, talking about Alex Smith coming back was amazing, but an opening win against the Philadelphia Eagles. Who would have thought? I did. I called it. I said we probably would win this one. Probably gonna lose it. We might lose the next one. But you know I, you know what? We're one and no. Sixteen and no. Call it right now. No, I'm not. Um nine and seven. I'm thinking, I'm thinking nine and seven. Um but yeah, I didn't get to watch the whole game yesterday because I was doing a lot of driving. But um I watched the first quarter and I watched the end and I pretty much watched all the highlights. I watched all the highlights. And um I'm gonna try to go back and see if I can find a way to watch the whole game. But um I said a whole time defensive line was going to be scary and they were eight sacks multiple knockdowns just amazing amazing work I said I worried about our secondary and I was right for the first half of the game for the first half of the game they were scaring me to death they couldn't do anything but then Fabian Moreau and Jamie Moreland pick off couple passes they Force Carson Wentz to throw into bad situations because everybody's being covered. It was just absolutely good defense, whatever. Um, Rhea Simons, Jack Del Rio made it at halftime really worked. It really worked amazingly. Um, and that was without Kendall Fuller. And hopefully he'll be back next week or week after next and it'll get even better. The D line oh, you know about Ryan Kerrigan is going to be a backup. He is just. They're just switching him and Chase Young in and out. It's just keeping them, keeping them good, keeping them ready to go. And oh my gosh, Brian Kerrigan, congratulations to you, all-time franchise leader in sacks, beating Dexter Manley, and now you have 92 sacks. So congratulations to Brian Kerrigan. Round of applause. Round of applause. Uh, I'm so happy for this team. I'm so happy about this team. Rivera had to get an IV in his arm at halftime. And Dwayne Haskins delivered a halftime speech. And I don't know what he said. He kind of spoke a little bit, but I'm sure there was a lot more to it. And that was just amazing. It was an absolutely amazing second half. I've never been prouder of this team. I've never seen this team fight so hard in my life. This team had in the past has been the ones that over now, so let's just play not to lose about worse. But no, we kept that. We played in attack mode. We absolutely went after them, destroyed them. Rattle Carson went time. He had the lowest pass rating of yesterday with 14.2 rating. That is awful and it is amazing. Now, I know the Eagles are going to be like, Eagles fans are going to be like, well, we were injured and we can win. Don't give me that BS, okay? If you have been paying any bit of attention to the Washington football games or seasons, you know for the past three seasons, we've been riddled with injuries. So now it's not our turn, it's your turn. And we had to learn that we couldn't keep using that excuse. So don't you even dare about making that excuse. When Johnson was out, Miles Sanders went out. Boston Scott got taken out of the game. We were missing Alshon Jeffrey. We were missing Brandon Brooks. We are missing uh, Brandon Graham. What the his name? Vinny Curry went down. I don't care. It's not my problem. It's not your problem. It's not your problem. Players are paid millions of bucks. The backups are paid millions of bucks to do their job. They're not as good. They are trained to do their job. There's a reason they're in the NFL. There's a reason they're wearing that jersey. So we beat y'all. We would have beat y'all if y'all had been healthy. Because said, well, right side, we got beaten up. Yeah, yeah, but the left side did too. Where did Chase Young come most of the time? He came found to the left side. So I don't want to hear your bull talking about injuries. Because trust me, as a Washington fan, I'm used to that excuse, and I don't buy it. I don't buy it from anybody. But it was an amazing game, 27 to 17. Oh my gosh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Cardinals this week is gonna be a tough one. I'm gonna talk about that later in the week. It's gonna be a, gonna be a fight, because they put up a good fight against San Francisco yesterday. I watched that game, and Kyle Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, Larry Fitz, Mm. Mm. They're going to be tough, but we got them because we have the best D-line in the NFL. Peter Schrager called it. He talked about it this morning. Steven Smith is talking about it. You know, it is just, ooh, such a good morning.
such a good morning to be a Washington football fan. It's Victory Monday, and damn, it feels good. First home opener win since 2014. Wow. Wow. For 2014, we played... I ne is that right? Because our 2014 opener was at Texas. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm... Was that stat right? I don't know. And then the post-game speech was absolutely amazing by Ron Rivera. Um, give Kerrigan a ball, gave Jack and the coordinators the ball. The other game ball went absolutely awesome. So, on to the Cardinals for week two. You know, it's amazing. Hail to the Washington football team. You got to say it. Feels good to say it now. Um, I will say Dan Snyder did say yesterday they'd be open to keeping the Washington football name as permanent name if fans like it. You shut your mouth on even say that again. Do not keep that name. It's bad. It's okay for the season, the season only. But Red Wolves next year, we all know that's what that's what they're thinking. We all know that's that's what we want to happen. So let's get it, Washington Red Wolves. How next year? So let's get it. Let's go, Washington Football 2020. Also, great start one and zero. And like Chishon said, the best part of going one and zero is a chance to go two and zero. So we have a great day. Make sure to subscribe down below. If you're on a if you're not a Washington fan now, join before you're being called a bandwagon. And uh, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell button to notify every single time I upload a brand new episode of Washington Station. Because trust me, we're in this season and whew, there's a lot more coming. You have a great day. Stay safe. And I'm Will Morris, and I'm out. Peace.